much, y'all. Might as well make some money off it. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Aside from sit around here and whine. Hello, mister. Hey. Hey, it's good to see you again, friend. How you keeping? Oh, <laughs> I'm miserable. Because of the leg? Ah, oh, no, I'm used to the leg. I mean, yeah. I've been without it a whole lot longer than I was with it. <laughs> nah, it's a people. Yeah, a yeah. bunch of nasty, miserable peasants I gotta share this place with. Why don't you leave? Me? Well, I live here. <laughs> They're my nasty, miserable people. And I've been hating on them for so long, if I forgot to hate them, <laughs> I wouldn't know what day it was. Yeah, but you... Man, you ought to get out of here and you ought to stop coming back. Kind of like to be alone right now. Back again? Take a look. Any questions, feel free not to ask. Uh -huh. Here. Fine. Thanks for your assistance. Mister, I know I ain't the best company.
this. I got some fine transportation right here, sir. I caught some reprobate shambling around my backyard yesterday. Went straight to the law, of course. I swear, Hello. this place is going straight to hell. You looking at that poster? They're an ugly old thing, aren't they? Laidlaw's being put up near Catfish Jackson's. He's a piece of work, but he's still got friends. Just untie me now! What the hey, hell? You don't mind, do you? You're coming! You seem right! Please! I don't want to die! Help! Hell no! Won't they look good in a cell? Well done. Well done. Come on. Don't do this. This hurts. Let me go. Just shut your mouth. Things go right at trial. You should stay for the hanging. Always put on a good show. All right. Best untie me now. Evening, Poster. Hello, boy. Oh, oh, no. oh, you came back. How you doing? Yep. Yours. St. Denis has all the action, it's true. But if you want real class, you know, real tradition. So long. Thank you. 
Yep, yep. Howdy, partner. All right, girl. Yep. Hey, who's there? It's me, Arthur. Good to see you back, Arthur. There we go. Okay then, girl. I hear you. Good job, Mr. Morgan.
How are you? Hey. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Mrs. Adler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there, I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? What the hell have they done to me? Look, they're in the tree line. Everybody take cover! Our Driscoll boys are coming! Come on, quick! 
covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side door there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go! Okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Ugh. Poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Colm O'Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. 
away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. He saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Long day ahead. So, what now? We need to start learning from our mistakes. I know. Another morning. You okay? I will be. I always had a soft spot for that, Kieran. I know you did. I'm sorry. Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right. You okay? Yes. Just thinking about Kieran. Yes. He was always living on borrowed time. Maybe. Morning. Another day. You know, I'm sure Grimshaw could use an extra pair of hands around here. Well, nobody's servant girl, Mr. Morgan. Well, we all need to do our share. I need to be alone. <laughs> Easy, killer. That's rich from you. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right, Arthur. Oh, Arthur, I can't believe those pigs did that to him. To Kieran? 
He was such a gentle soul. Yeah, he saved my life one time. I'll miss him. You make the bastards pay, Arthur. If we get the chance, we surely shall. Good morning. This has all gotten a little crazy. We need to find where those O'Driscolls are at and go hit them back. I don't know. Karen. I ain't sure that's the right move. Good day. There he is. Don't you ever get fed up with all this? How are you? Yes. Keeping the books dry? Well, no, you're appreciated around here. Well, sure. Hello, ladies. Another day. Grimshaw keeping off your back? I wish. Well, just keep your head down. Okay. There she is. Hi. Doing a good job there. I guess. Hey, boy. <laughs> Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Hey. Whiskey kind of morning. <laughs> you joining me here? Hosea. What's going on? Nothing too much at this very moment. Okay, well, I'll leave you to it. All right, Arthur. So, no more curing. No. I was just starting to like him, too. I should be getting on. Bye, Arthur. There was me thinking we yeah, were a step saying. ahead of the O'Driscolls. I was almost starting to like that, Kieran. And he saved your life. I know. Hey, y'all. You gonna sit? Morning, dear. I warn you. I'm not much joy to behold at the moment. How are you holding up? I'm okay, I suppose. The cowardly killer that shot Mr. Miller has laid old Otis in his grave. This one. I 
life. Three children, they were brave. 